Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to get this boring footage and turn it into a complete and final edit in the style of Tom Noski. And by the way, shout out to Kyle Richard or Kyle P. Richard, Tom Noski's editor. He is honestly the GOAT, and I think he's actually been the one to create this style. So, hey, big shout out to you, homie. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be using my takeover preset pack. If you guys wanna go ahead and cop it down below, it literally saves me so much time. But if not, feel free to follow along. It might just take you a little bit longer to edit. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started in today's tutorial. All right, so we have our boring footage, essentially just Tom Noski footage, just super raw. I uh, cropped out the actual text. So if you see like weird yellow stuff on a shirt, that's supposed to actually be um, some text, believe it or not. Okay, so first things first is we want to color grade the footage. So I'm going to select all of the footage. I'm going to go to my takeover preset pack. And for you, you could literally select whatever footage you'd like. I'm just going to select one clip and then I'm going to drag and drop the LUT. And then we're going to make our tweaks here. And then we'll copy and paste the uh, LUT to every clip afterwards. So let's just throw in a little bit more contrast. Maybe bring the blacks down a little bit. Maybe bring the highlights up a little bit. Uh, actually, no. Let's just go to the curves real quick. Curves, bring the highlights up. And maybe just bring the, the darks down, the shadows down like this. Just really play around with it. And then also, I'm going to go back to basic correction and turn up the temperature. And maybe just push in a little bit of saturation. Just because of the original footage was a lot less saturated. So there you go. We have like a dope uh, color grade. So I'm just going to control C this lumetric color and you can control V onto the rest of the video. And as you can see, the entire video is color graded. Simple as that with my takeover LUT. So now that we have our LUT, Tom Nosk's editing style is very, very simple in the fact that it's just really text made scaled up or added a blend mode or a subtle topography animation. It's super, super easy, this style. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So first step with Tom Nosky style, it just going ahead and transcripting the actual video. So I'm going to go ahead, generate static text or transcript. Um, this one is saying text based. I don't want to do that one. You guys should see with the empty project, the right one. So I'm just going to go ahead and retranscribe sequence for you guys. It'll say something similar. I'm just going to do transcribe into out point only audio on track mix. Go ahead hit enter. And then this is going to go ahead and add our captions for us. Now I'm going to go ahead and just hit these three dots create captions then we're going to go to maximum length nine bring this down lines single and then we're going to go ahead and create captions now this will create our captions really quickly now we go to essential graphics to edit our text i'm going to go ahead and play around with the placement i'm going to bring this down just kind of like in the bottom third just like so maybe a little bit higher like that and then i'm going to use the helvetica font to be honest i don't know exactly what font tom noski uses or kyle to be exact his editor but i'm assuming it is helvetica or something similar maybe montserrat uh not entirely too sure but i found a way to make the like font look a lot closer to his actual style and that is just by making it a little bit bigger just like so and then also using this one like the, the tracking and like making it smaller so the font or text is closer together and i found a value of like negative 50 ish it looks good i'm um, kind of scroll through see if that looks good to me that looks actually really clean and then i'm just gonna go to shadow i'm gonna turn the opacity down actually i'm gonna turn the size up a bit and then we're gonna turn the opacity down just to about 20 percent just a super slight drop shadow so sick. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and select our text again. You guys can leave the text white, but recently Tom Noski, he's been actually adding like this interesting sort of tan color and I've actually been liking it quite a bit. So let's go ahead and maybe just go a little bit yellower. There we go. Maybe a little bit brighter. We'll just do something like that. Almost like a muted color, almost like matching his skin tones. But yeah, so that looks really clean. So real quick, before we add some sauce, let me show you guys what it's looking like. Okay, sick. So as you guys can see, the text is applied and it's looking pretty decent. Let's go ahead and start making some text effects saucy. Now, the first things first, I'm gonna make a pass through the text and I'm just gonna go ahead and make the sort of keywords that he's talking about bigger, just so it draws more attention to those words and emphasizes those words. And you can kind of just tell by the way he's speaking with words to emphasize. I'm gonna do this whole... I'm gonna do the whole, I, I don't like making videos. I'm just gonna make that size a little bigger, maybe about like 120-ish. We'll see how that looks. Sweet, so that's like a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and just make like a fake bold so that way it stands out more. And then I'm also gonna maybe center it. Let me see what I actually did over here. Okay, so I started that with, I don't really like making videos, okay, anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna actually not center this text. Really like videos, so, so, 
sweet build an audience online i'm gonna do that i'm gonna make all of these bigger so just like so make them about there and then do the fake bold just like so I'm also going to center as well. This one we are going to center. And then also I'm going to go ahead and make sure that these are all selected. And then I'm going to go to graphics and titles, upgrade caption to graphic. And I want to change the blend mode on this little sequence of text. So I'm going to go through one by one. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to just right click nest the sequence just like so. And then I'm going to go to effects controls, opacity, and then we're going to go to difference. And then it's going to add like this really unique sort of like text style. And I also want to make the it's like a little bit smaller. Kind of want it to return to its like normal size. So like so. There we go. So audience without making videos. It's like, yeah, there we go. Sweet. So we'll play it through. Okay, I'm going to do I'm going to build an audience. I'm going to make that center as well. And then also I'm going to remove these so i'm going to control c this right here delete and then i'm also going to find where they need to be placed again so right here just control c like so and then i'm also just going to remove the blend layer just like this there you go i like that and then we're gonna add a b-roll scene here later so we're gonna go ahead and just mark this off with a b-roll scene overlay so just like so we're gonna add our overlay for the b-roll so when there's opportunities to add b-roll go ahead just add the overlay and then kind of just keep going through and make sure you kind of plan out your edit so i'm gonna plan out my b-roll scenes real quick so i want one b-roll scene right here i think that would just look good I want to also do another one right here like after they do them anyway and then i want to do the and they achieve success so maybe like just some sort of b-roll right in this area sick and i'm going to reline this text up real quick okay sick let's go ahead and continue with the text edits i'm going to go ahead and throw these like the b-roll sort of scene i'm going to throw this centered as well for the b-roll and you guys can add any b-roll so i'm going to just maybe size it i'm actually going to keep it like this does anyone maybe size up the word anyone because he's kind of like that's kind of the point he's making let's see i like that fire okay i'm gonna make the word different a little bit different because it adds to the editing you know what i'm saying and we're gonna make it bold we're also gonna make it a little bit bigger just like so try something different sick so i'm actually liking sort of what's going on right now so now i'm gonna go ahead and like kind of do the planning stage of like where i want my animated text to be so i'm just gonna go ahead add an adjustment layer just to make it easy on me so these adjustment layers are gonna be pretty much place markers for where you want your animation text to be i kind of want the hook to have some sort of like animation so let's just go ahead and mark it off where we want the text to be I'm thinking about placing text behind tom noski for this intro maybe like right there just cut that Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Okay. Like I'm gonna do one right here, also too, where I where he says like, but they do them anyway. I feel like that's a good point, and like it, we can make something cool right there. And then I also want to do force. They force themselves to do it. I think we could add something cool there. And then we'll just leave the end super simple. Okay, so now that we have our hook or like our text animations sort of laid out where we want them, let's go ahead and actually add some like text sauce, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of this text right here. I'm gonna actually bring it up and then I'm gonna maybe bring the size up as well, um, just like so. And then I'm gonna move it down with this sort of value and then kind of bring it at like the fringe of his hair, um, his haircut. And then I'm gonna select these all graphics and titles upgrade caption to graphic and then i'm going to bring all of the text down so now that i have the text placed down i'm just going to delete this adjustment layer we don't need it anymore so just delete it and now we want to go ahead and key out tom noski so duplicate the bottom layer right here i'm going to go ahead and just use the keeper plugin so i'm just going to go down here keeper plugin you do have to pay for this separately if you guys do buy the preset pack but i just have it in here because it's super easy just drag and drop and then you have the key automatically done for you which is pretty fire pretty gas it saves me so so much time in my workflow okay so now that we have our actual 
like intro hook scene going on let's go ahead and just add an effect to the text so select all of your text just like so and then we're going to go back to the takeover preset pack and we're going to add a blur sort of effect to the text and you can see blurry text style drag and drop it on your text there you go kind of just fakes the depth fire so now we are on the b-roll scene so let's go ahead and just import our b-roll for you guys honestly it's going to be just whatever b-roll you do have i actually already have some pulled up so i'm just going to go ahead drag and drop it it's a clip of tom Noski. so we're just going to go ahead import it just like so maybe do something like that I like that i'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop the takeover preset so that way it's just a similar colors just a similar look sweet i'm gonna go ahead and there's a little bit of a magenta tint in this so we're gonna go ahead and make sure it looks cohesive and then there's a magenta slider just go ahead go towards the green and honestly it looks a lot better and then also for the word anyone i'm gonna go ahead upgrade caption to graphic select this text layer and then we're gonna go to effect controls and we're also gonna go ahead change the blending mode to difference fire now let's go ahead and like kind of add like a uh, smooth zoom right here so just right click nest these both of these clips together because i wanted this entire clip to zoom i'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop the 1 to 110 scale and we're gonna see it zooms you can see this smooth uh zoom in okay so we have another text animation spot right here so i'm going to select all of these texts we're going to go up here to graphics and titles upgrade caption to graphic i'm going to full screen this going to delete the adjustment layer because we don't need that anymore bring this down just like so and then for this animation we're going to do it more of a topography style so we're going to go ahead and just drag up the second layer and then drag up the third layer just like so okay so we're going to go ahead and extend this on the end this is how we're going to go ahead and create the topography so right now if we go to the end it looks like trash looks horrible go to effects go to essential graphics and this is where we play with our text we're going to go ahead and just move this down um, kind of just declutter it a little bit and then this is where we're going to kind of create like our shape of like topography so select this text maybe bring this over to the maybe over here to the left i think that looks kind of good maybe fit it in like so and then the word anyway let's go ahead and just make the word anyway bigger but they do them anyway yeah i like that that'll do now we want to go ahead and just add a little bit of animation a little bit of sauce to this effect Okay, so the word anyway, I kind of want to like slide in. I'm going to go ahead and just extend this out because I know it's going to slide in for a little bit. I want it to be super smooth. So we're going to go to takeover preset pack again, and we're going to add a, let's see, let's just add a text slide in. This is actually Tom Noski inspired preset. I'm going to play with the first transform layer. We're going to make it just like so. to where it's like pretty much where it needs to be. We're going to drag this out. So it like kind of lasts a little bit longer, just like so. And then to play with the opacity, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this all the way down, just like that. Maybe play like this, just like so. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. Now let's go ahead and add a drop shadow onto this sort of text layer. So it kind of like shows a little bit of depth inside of the actual thing. So we're going to make this 100%. We're also going to make this about 1% degree wise. And then we're going to change the size. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a shadow on that text above, which just makes it like look a lot cleaner. Just makes it look pretty cool, pretty chill. Um, maybe bring some, bring the size down like that and just kind of play with it until it looks good. And like to me, that looks actually pretty fire. Dope. Maybe let's play with the size and make this smaller. They do them anyway maybe on the right side we'll see how that looks yeah maybe we just do a little bit of like that there we go cool maybe play with the shadow a little bit more um let me fix this because this looks a little a little too much just super subtle um there we go just like that so i'm actually liking that and then now we can go ahead and move on so that looks good to me real quick before we move on I want to go ahead and nest this entire sort of sequence, the text sequence, nest it, and I'm going to move it to the center. We're going to scale it up a bit, um, just like so. I'm going to move it make sure it's like centered, centered. That looks pretty centered to me. Then we're going to also cut a little bit before this sort of text comes in because I want to make the background blurry. I'm going to go ahead and just steal the blurry text style and then just keyframe it. So it's blurriness, move the 12 value over and move it to zero. So that way it kind of like goes into a blur, just like that fire and maybe bring this down because i don't think that's completely centered 
maybe bring this down a little bit just like that okay sick now this is a second b-roll layer so i'm gonna go ahead and add the background sort of footage which is right here so just do it in out drag and drop simple as that just like so let's actually see should we go ahead and play with the framing of it let's see if we need to uh, maybe like that and then okay yeah no we gotta bring it down okay sweet so i like this Let's go ahead and just make this entire text sort of centered as well. So go to the central graphics, select the text up top, center it like so. I like that. And then I want the animation in the text to be honestly just on the word force themselves to do it. So same exact process, select all of these guys, upgrade them to caption to graphic, delete the adjustment layer, and then go ahead, just stagger the layers. So that way you can build your shape for the, the topography sort of effect. And this is just really my workflow. Um, I'm really not too sure if this is the exact workflow that Tom Nosk's editor uses for his videos. I could imagine it's pretty similar as the results are pretty similar as well. This diamond shape's actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. Let's see, let's play around with like the, the sizes or maybe let's do the word force over here to the left, just like that. Maybe that word to the left as well, just like so. And then maybe make the word it bigger. Yeah. I think that actually looks pretty clean. So we'll go ahead and do something like that. Maybe make the word force over here and make it bigger. Yeah, I'm actually not hating this right now. I actually like that shape. Cool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just do the drop shadow on the word themselves. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Again, set the degrees to one, increase the size um, just like that. Maybe like that. There we go. Cool. And then maybe do it to the word it. Same exact process. Go to your shadow. Increase the percent, one degrees ish, increase the size, just like so. Killer. Cool. I like that a lot. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like. They force themselves to do it. Maybe the timing's a little bit off, so maybe you can just fix it like that. Sick. Now I'm actually really liking this. So we're gonna go ahead and right click. We're gonna just right click the sequence. We're gonna nest it. So that way it's all combined together. And then we're gonna actually just go ahead and throw on that Tom Nosk sliding up, just like so. And then again, go to transform, adjust this first keyframe. For me, I just want it to be pretty simple and then drag this out. Okay, maybe not that slight, maybe something like that. Let's go, bro. That looks so clean. Let's go, dog. Come on. You're making some fire, dude. For real. I'm gonna make this actually just a little, little bit, a little bit more centered to make sure we're looking clean. That's so clean. Let's go, bro. Like, oh, no, the best <laughs> preset attack in Premiere Pro 2024 not gonna count. What? What happened? What I say? Oh no, you might gotta, you might gotta run that back. Um, enough being goofy. Let's go ahead and just play the video through because I actually think it is done. All right, guys, so we're going to run the video through and see what we just created in this video. I see a lot of people online, they're like, I don't really like making videos, so I'm not going to make videos. I'm going to build an audience without making videos. It's like, does anyone like doing the things that they want to do? Most people don't like doing the things that they want to do, but they do them anyway, and they achieve success because they force themselves to do it. If something's not worked out, try something different. All right, so bam. Like that was actually a killer reel and I don't think we took that much time to go ahead and do that. I obviously could have done it way faster if I wasn't explaining it and trying to go slow for you guys. But again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think this is probably my best video to date on this channel. And again, if you guys want to go ahead, save yourself some time of editing and you want to make your editing workflow a drag and drop process rather than a tedious keyframing nightmare, then go ahead, cop my preset pack down below. Anyways, guys, that is it for me today. Feel free to follow my Instagram down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.